I just had a baby hornet in my pants. I think he's right there. He was crawling up my leg. He wasn't. He wasn't in that area of my pants. Don't worry. That's all good. I know you were very concerned for a second. He was, uh, he crawled up my leg here, I guess, and I was wondering what was tickling my leg, so I, I tapped it, and he stung me. Bit me or something. Twice. So I, I stopped on the shoulder here and, uh, ripped my pants off. Now I gotta get this guy out of here. Good riddance, little bugger. Huh. That caught my heart to race a little bit. Oh, it's like, what is in my pants? I thought it might have been a tick, right? Because uh, I, I felt it, excuse me while I do it with my belt. You don't mind, do you? I, uh, I felt it crawling up my, uh, my leg, right? And it felt like a tick. And we have lots of ticks around our house. So uh, I felt just like a tick and I was like, oh shoot, do I got a tick? And then so I put my hand on where it was tickling and it bit me. I was like, whoa, what was that? And so I tried to hold it in place while I safely pulled over, but it kept crawling up further and further up my leg. And I was like, this isn't going anywhere good. This is not going where I wanted to go. So we got onto the shoulder here, safely parked, ripped my pants off, then I couldn't find it. It was hiding in there. I had to turn my pants inside out and then it started buzzing around the whole cab here attacking trying to attack me was... fought him off though i think i tuckered him out because he finally landed on that little shifter there the little the, the, the little knob there and uh stopped flying around Woo! he's gotten a fight with a bee you know my dad had a fight with a bee in his truck once and it, it actually uh caused him to get into an accident a uh, long 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 time long before i was born there's a bee in his truck yeah, long story but uh whew. similar circumstances but we're okay fought a bee and i won ouch but my leg is so itchy now yeah he definitely bit me once there and once further up here as he was on his way up to the kingdom you know no huh? No way. Stopped him before he got there. Restricted access. That was crazy. Okay. Good morning, everybody. How's it going? My day started off with a... What would you call it? A bang? A, a buzz? Started off a buzz. We're, uh, we're leaving Regina. We're headed towards Assiniboia, Saskatchewan. That's just my luck, eh? Stung by a bee on my leg. Oh yeah, it's getting real itchy now. It's not. I'm not having an allergic reaction or anything, so that's good. I'm not allergic to it. It was just an itty bitty little guy too. Maybe it wasn't even a bee. Maybe it was a horse fly. It sure looked like a little baby hornet to me. But I mean, hornets are bigger than that. I'm not a bee expert. Just a little disclaimer there for you. I have no idea what that was. All I know is it bit me and it was crawling up my leg, up my pants, violating me. That was, that was crazy. No thank you, I don't need that. My windshield's a little dirty with bugs here. I've been trying to keep up, but uh, they're faster than me apparently. We all want to get in here and one made it in. Look at this truck, that is nice. Nice. Nice unit. The trailers need some polishing, but. We have found ourselves in Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan. I think this is where it wants me to go. How high is that bridge over there? Well, that's interesting. They got this bridge height in feet. 14 foot 6. This is Canada. Usually they put it in meters. This is actually a nice little town. A lot bigger than you might think it is. Usually you just fly right past on the Trans Canada, right? And it's uh it's actually quite big. This is the home of our Canadian snowbirds, 
which I believe is the same equivalent to the American, uh, what are they called, Blue Angels? And the British have something like that too, the, what's it called again? They're those stunt planes. One actually crashed uh, during Operation Inspiration in Kamloops uh, last month, I believe, and one of the engineers aboard died. It's a really sad story in our country. Uh, this is where they were based. I mean, someone can correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe this is where they're based. We have a, a big uh, military air force base here as well. And this is sort of just north of the Minot American Air Force Base. So I'm sure they work together very closely. Oh dear, that's hail. I hope it doesn't get any worse. Where is it coming from? construction zone here and Saskatchewan is doing what Saskatchewan does oh putting gravel on the highways what a wonderful idea right what could possibly go wrong yeah, I'm going way around you bud way around you It? Oh, there's more up ahead, isn't there? I will never understand this, and I'm going to keep mentioning it over and over. Sorry that my window's so dirty. I've been trying to keep up with it again. It's, uh, it is what it is. Look at this. Here it is, all lying right on the road. Look at all that gravel that they're going to put on here. I wonder how many people's windows are going to get shattered by that. see past all the bugs <laughs> so here's the no passing signs again 60 kilometer an hour signs coming up here better not have anybody gonna pass me I think 60 is too fast for this but I'm doing about 40 I've also got my driver window rolled down 
So if any rocks were to fly into it, at least it's not going to shatter my window. I'm just sort of leaning away from my driver window. <laughs> so at least the rock won't hit me and my window won't get shattered and mess with my whole route and schedule. I need to make some money. I can't afford to be down for a week every time they put chip seal on the highway. Look at these guys just spreading it out here. Like it's a normal day in Saskatchewan. Just putting gravel on the highways, boys. You know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they're actually paving this properly. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Maybe that's what they're doing. Because this looks a little different than chip and seal. I just wish I could get this windshield in front of you guys a little bit cleaner. Without wasting all my washer fluid. The sun shining right into the windshield sort of highlights it all. Look at these guys go. Girls, pardon me, look at those girls go. Girl power, you go. Oh, now what do we got coming up here? What is this, wet pavement? What is this? I wish that sun would go behind a cloud so you guys wouldn't have to stare at all these bug guts. Oh man, what did they do here? What is this, they made it all wet, now I'm gonna get all muddy? Oh man. My truck's gonna get all dirty. That's all wet. You know, you never see stuff like this in the United States. At least I don't. I never see them fixing roads the way they fix them up here. And they always have so much nicer roads than we do. crazy. That's just straight up mud. And I can't go much further to the right. I don't want to like get sucked into the ditch now. I don't know how soft that is there. There we go. Okay. Here's the end of it. There's the other sign person. I don't think this is the end of it though because it's still gravel. still continues on as gravel after this. Nobody better pass me. This is insane. This is a provincial highway. Look at all that dust and rocks being kicked up from the truck in front of me. I don't want to follow too close. And I'm just hoping that the guy behind me is going to be patient and not try to pass me. Break out my windows. Every day already. Remember I said this happened so often a couple of you didn't believe me? Every day already I run into this stuff on the prairies. They, it, it, they do it all the time. I can't imagine how many people's vehicles get damaged from this kind of stuff. Just because they're cheap, you know? Cheap. Well now i got to close my window so all this dust doesn't get into my cab. Provincial Highway. This is like... A state highway in the U.S. This is supposed to be paved. I don't know what town we're coming up to. I think we're coming up to Unity, Saskatchewan. And we're going to turn uh, north. Turn right on Highway 21 there. I think I see the end of the gravel up ahead. Well, now you know how long these things go for. That wasn't actually too long. That was probably, what, a few miles? And we're back on the pavement. This is how it's supposed to be. And give her. Oh, and we got a guy turning. Never mind. I do want to point out that I'm no, like, on this road for 35 kilometers. Karen. Karen. I want to point out an important fact that I am not a professional road repairman or a road builder. 
Okay, so I really don't know what I'm talking about. Maybe there's a very good reason why they put gravel on the roads and why they destroy people's vehicles. I don't know, maybe there's a good reason for it, okay? Other than just being cheap. So I leave myself open to learn. Maybe there's a good reason. All I'm saying is that there's got to be a better way. But anyways, welcome to Unity, Saskatchewan. Nice little town here in the middle of nowhere. I like it. It's my kind of town. Very nice. Especially this time of year, everything's so green. Enjoy it while you can, don't blink, you'll miss it. Winter will be here before you know it. Don't kill the messenger.